Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Erica. We're on ornament number seven of our 2023 So Jolly Quilty and Stitchy Sew Along. So if you missed ornaments number one through six, go back and watch all of those videos. I talk about each of those in detail and ornament number one has all the sew along information and all of that. There is a Facebook group for this where you can share your progress and pics. I will make sure to link that below. You can also tag me on social media as well. I would love to see how your progress is on these ornaments because they've been so much fun. So today we're gonna take a look at stitchy ornament number seven. My quilty ornaments kind of got misnumbered, but I wanna show the one that matches with the stitchy one so it's actually quilty ornament number 11 so I apologize for that um, hopefully that's not too confusing to people you can sew them in any order that you like so stitchy ornament number seven looks like this and when I first started doing this one I thought oh this is going to be ugly it didn't look good on my uh, software that I was using and once I started stitching it I was like this is adorable I love this one so much it's got that cute little rotary trimmer off on the side we have a ruler and of course a tomato pin cushion in the middle and then there is a green little cake stand that they are all sitting on and as you may notice the cake stands have been all just a little bit different so they're a little bit unique but all of the finishing has been the same I will have a finishing video on all these ornaments coming soon as well if it hasn't already released I did finish them using some round sticky board this is from fat quarter shop and the little pie tin ornament kit from fat quarter shop as well and if you look up the tart tins they will recommend the exact size that fits inside I used the stitching with the housewives red gingham ribbon on there so super cute and then the ornaments come with their own little hanger so I just left that on and I'm using that to hang them they're all stitched on 14 count Zweigart in aqua I love 14 count because it's easy for me to see so that's what most of my stuff has been in the ornaments themselves the stitchy part finishes at about two two and a half inches the um, pie tins themselves are three so your finished ornaments are three by three so perfect size for ornaments let's take a look at stitchy ornament or quilty ornament number 11 so this one is a cute little rotary trimmer and I think this one is so cute I went ahead with the red gingham for it because I just love my red rotary trimmer I use the Ulfa splash and I have them in probably every color there is but I just had to do this one in red and then I used two different colors for this you could do a gray and a light gray but I went ahead and used tan on all my ornaments these are both fig tree prints um, the red gingham I think was either from Lori Holt or maybe Camille Ross Kelly I can't remember and then my aqua is from Pam Kitty Morning for Lake House Dry Goods they don't make it anymore but it's just a basic kind of aqua background and then I finished this one just like I did all my others this one finishes at about four by four and the stitchy one finishes at three by three so these I can't remember if I said but these are all stitched with DMC floss so nothing fancy I like to use DMC because it's pretty easy access for all of you guys but you can stitch it in anything you like and then for these I used a lot of my fabric scraps we did do kits for these as well as for these I'm not sure if we have the kits left at this point but if we do you can get the stitchy kits in my store and the quilty kits at Cat stitches.com so that's going to be it for our feature for day let's just call this day seven at this point since our ornament numbers are off a little bit um, I hope you enjoyed this one thank you so much for joining me for today's video if you're sewing or stitching along make sure to post your progress in our Facebook group or share with me on social media I always love seeing what you're making stay tuned for our finishing videos coming soon and I'm going to go ahead and add these to my tree which is becoming extremely festive back here and I will see you in the next video video for day number eight.